Regularly scheduled programming will not be seen tonight. Now a special presentation. Good grief. Good grief. Good grief. Good grief. Good grief indeed. Good evening. I'm Walter Cronkite. This Sunday, more than 300 million of us Peanuts fans in more than 70 countries will say goodbye to Charlie Brown, Lucy, Snoopy, Linus, Schroeder, and the gang. After half a century, Peanuts creator Charles M. Schultz is putting away his drawing pen. For those 50 years, Schultz has filled the panels of his cartoon strip with more humor, humanity, and in the case of Charlie Brown, more humiliation than anyone who ever drew a bubble over a character's head. Tonight we pay tribute to the Peanuts gang, a gang that never really grew up, and certainly never grew old. But then, with all their anxieties and obsessions and troubled love lives, they were hardly kids in the first place. Just different facets of the personality of a barber's son from St. Paul, Minnesota. If you were to read the strip... The world of peanuts is full of love that's almost never returned. Marcy and Peppermint Patty are secretly in love with Charlie Brown, who's secretly in love with the little red-haired girl. Sally loves Linus, who loves his teacher and his blanket. And Snoopy, well, he's hopelessly in love with himself. Even that domineering fuss budget Lucy has spent the past 47 years locked in a losing battle for Schroeder's love. Of course, he only has eyes and ears for Beethoven. Peanuts was a comic strip that became a hit that became a cultural institution, that became an industry. Its characters have graced everything from lunch boxes to lunar landing modules, from beach towels to blimps. Perhaps no one more so than Snoopy, the beloved beagle with the overactive fantasy life. Hey, Snoopy! Charlie Brown really didn't need anybody to remind him that he was a nobody. But for 50 years, he had somebody anyway. Her name was Lucy Van Pelt. And when she first appeared in 1952, she was a cute little baby with big round eyes. But not for long. Okay, it's my turn. To those who said that peanuts didn't change with the times, well, maybe that was Schultz's point. The times don't change as much as we think they do. As a matter of fact, we aren't really saying goodbye to Charlie and his gang. Charles Schultz has invested them with immortality. In newspaper reprints, scores of books and television shows, Peanuts will be a reminder for generations to come of the universal truths of human nature, that love is never perfect, that hope springs eternal, and that you should never, ever let Lucy hold the football. Thank you, Charlie Brown, Linus, Snoopy, and everybody else for showing us who we are. You're a great man, Charles Schultz. I'm Walter Cronkite. Good night.